Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crest Designs. I've got a quick, uh, well, I say quick, it'll probably be a long video, but, uh, one of these coffee cup, um, shaker coasters. Why those just words don't go together. Um, I'm gonna do this one, hot chocolate. So I'm gonna make the, uh, 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 I'm going to make the little ice cubes into marshmallows or sugar cubes or whatever they are. They're going to be marshmallow. <laughs> so, hot chocolate with marshmallows. Uh, once again, I'm not going to do liquid filled anything. I'm going to do it as shaker with little embellishment things <laughs> all right let's get this started okay I say that too sorry and I'm not gonna quit saying it all right <laughs> I just sketched the swirl on with a sharpie all I did so far. These are just the cups that I poured when I poured the first one. I used a lot of my batch of going bad polyurethane resin. <clears throat> I just got this out to show you. I'm still following the original sketches that I did. Alright, so hmm. That's what we're going to fill in. I've got, these are the resin marshmallows. These are some corresponding buell beads. And these are seed beads along with, this is a set of Sprinkles, you might say, because there are sprinkles. Sprinkles, tiny, tiny sprinkles. Stars. I think those are flowers. I'm not sure. They're butterflies. No, they're stars. Stars, stars, hearts. No, Mickey heads. <laughs> Circles, dots, spots, whatever you want to call them snowflakes hearts hearts and hearts they're all three a different shape of little heart these are more like um, those valentines mm -hmm. ones that have messages on them mm -hmm. whatever they're called then there's these that are a bit longer a bit more traditional maybe heart shaped conversation hearts and then there's these that are really long and drawn out almost more like petals I bet you could use them as petals they may even be supposed to be petals like sakura flower petals anyway <laughs> all I did was use the hearts <laughs> little conversation hearts just to give it a little bit of color I did add a little bit more yellow just to kind of bring out the uh, creamy white chocolate color these are gonna go on the on the front Okay. Gonna go on the front these are going to go inside along with the marshmallows and stuff okay first thing I want to do I want to mix up some UV resin um, kind of a hot chocolate brown color although where it'll still cure and put it down here at the bottom 
okay then I can go over the top edge and do the swirl with the oil paint pen okay that should do us nicely don't like that little no you may have to sand those off okay it looks dusty but it's just the crud that was in my polyurethane resin I don't know if your art room does like mine does it just gets filthy on its own it doesn't really need any help stuff gets everywhere this could no because it cured that way so I don't know what I'm talking about that is annoying those little specks Alright, I'll see what I can do about some of it. And um, I'll get my UV resin and my dye out too. Okay. Now, let's make a mess first. I've got some alcohol inks and resin pigments here. These two are those um, y R Y M H T from H T Ront H T V Ront. Sorry. Um, this one is the Smoky Quartz. This one is the Tiger's Eye. This one is just a generic. Um, no name came off of Amazon. Still good. These are the Sigwong alcohol inks. This one is brown. <laughs> so technical. This one is... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I cannot, for the life of me, read that. Man. Celadon? I don't know. It's a, it's a yellow. So I sampled them. <laughs> These are the alcohol inks. I just did that one twice because I wasn't sure I shook it up. And these are, this one is the uh, no name. And these two are the YRYMHT. This one is the one that I like. This one is the tiger's eye. Just so happened to be. So. I'll put the other ones away and we'll work with the tiger's eye now the one thing about these I do have um, you know opaque resin dyes but there is no brown and nothing like to make a brown they're all kind of offish colors Anyway, <laughs> this is what we're going to try. I'm going to try not to have to add any white, but if I do, I, I will. If I do, I will. Anyway, I'm going to put these away. I'm straighten up my area a little bit, and then um, we'll get after it. Okay, I'm going to use this BS resin from Amazon. I'm probably going to use it till it's gone. <laughs> it's, I like it. There's nothing to complain about it. Now, I don't need much here. Now keep in mind, the resin dye will thin the UV resin and keep the rule in your head 5%. So, literally not much. But we're going to try it. Um, somewhere... 
Uh huh. I'll find one. Okay. Now, like I've said before, wear your wear your wear at least your gloves when you're working with UV resin. Ugh. It just feels so disgusting. It, when it gets on you, and when you try to wipe it off, oh, I hate that feeling. Oh yeah, okay. No, this is doing what resin dye typically does in UV resin. It gets a grainy kind of look. It will need a, a, a couple of minutes to kind of disperse a little bit. So, I'm going to let that happen and not make y'all watch. <laughs> okay, sorry, I don't, I don't even know why I turned the camera off. It literally just takes a few seconds. <sighs> this is the uh, Sigwong White Alcohol Ink. Just... Because it was what's on the desk. <sighs> I wasn't. I wasn't aiming for a whole drop there. But a whole drop we got. Let's see how opaque that makes it. Okay, not very. So we can add another. Oh sure, now you don't want to come out. You know what I'm aiming for, it's kind of a high cocoa kind of... Again, I'm just going to give it a few seconds to kind of disperse and meld together a little bit. Boy, this silicone cup has gotten old. Okay. Oh yeah, that's what I'm thinking right there. Okay, we'll see if this is enough. Okay, drip. Just drip. You can do it. Thank you. Now. Making sure I don't got any on my fingers. Because you know I already touched it. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to do the deal. Thicker, a little bit more even. Okay, that I don't want to say is exactly where I want it, but it's exactly where I want it. <laughs> now, the world's least bright light. But it still works, I guess. I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a set and 
put it under the light. Put it under the lamp. I'm so sorry, but my cord is not long enough. Even on the new one, not long enough. Give this a cure. Okay, now I've got this is the uh, overseas paint markers that I got off of Demon. Good shake. Oh. The first thing I want to flip the tip because I want it broad end. Okay. Now, the one thing I don't like about this polyurethane resin is that the oil paint markers tend to want to beat up. Let's try a little truck. A little bit of alcohol. And just wipe. Oh yeah, wipe right along the edge and Wipe the marker right off and right where you didn't want it. All right, I'm gonna clean that up and I'll be back. Okay, I just wiped the whole. I just wiped the whole thing. Okay, that nub. Now this alcohol marker marks much better on this UV resin. Now, am I done? Am I done? Am I done? Okay, see? Now that was me pushing hard. And it's not closed. There. Tough. But if you don't make sure they're closed, they will dry out. And that's not me being anal about my craft supplies, just so you know.
that's me noticing a slight uh, I don't want to call it a flaw but in the design but you gotta make sure they're close <laughs> okay now I'm going to sand this a little bit more but I'm gonna spray clear this and then I'm gonna um, do the edges with the latex and um, I'm going to probably do that off camera. And then we'll be back to uh, fill it. Fill it. And put in our fi fill it and put in our filler. Huh? I'll be back. Okay, because these are polyurethane resin, they are completely opaque and no light whatsoever can get through them so i'm not going to be using the uv resin to glue them down i'm going to be using my hot glue gun provided that it's hot enough grab those glue strings don't let them stick Of course now I've got glue strings on me, but uh, now this one is to cover up that smear. Hey, don't do that. Oh, my glue is not. Not deep enough to cover that indention. Come on, glue gun. I know you're hot enough. I don't know why you're acting that way. Nope. Alright, I'd have to let my glue gun heat up a little bit more. Okay, I trimmed the edges a bit with my exact. Oh yeah, now you fit with some seeping out the bottom. I don't know. Yep, if I can hold on to this one. This one looks flatter. This glue gun. Um, it's not the glue gun's fault. As y'all know, I'm notorious for leaving it plugged in. Let me work with it a minute. We're not even gonna... I'm sure now it will work perfectly. But, uh... Mm-hmm. Gave me some troubles. So, now I'm gonna put these two just as part of the filler rattling around along with the milk chocolate bar and the dark chocolate bar then we're gonna add the little bugle beads bugle beads and I swear a glow string because I do okay go back where you are okay the bugle beads <laughs> and the seed beads and sprinkles Now, let's see what we think about that. Still one running loose. 
Yes, that actually, uh, I like that. That's a good, not too much cover up. It does cover up the swirl in the middle when it's all scattered about. Okay. Check your, check your, uh, uh-huh. Check the dome and make sure you got it dome side up. I probably should do that with an alcohol wipe, but I'm not gonna. Okay, I'm gonna put my UV resin in just a separate cup to go around the edges and seal that down. Alright, do y'all do y'all need to see that? I don't really think so. It's not the one I want, though. I've got this one that the tip is broke off. It works much better. Okay. I'm just going to start and give it a continuous line all the way around the edge. Oh, I got it. I can't believe that. It was a dog hair. Okay, I'm just going to finish this. All the way around unbroken bead set it down right where you want it to go that way you don't have any UV resin that's decided it don't don't like it there okay once again, with my annoying as heck light. Yeah, I even tried going to the dollar store with my husband, and we still forgot them. Alright, now, I'm not going to shake this or anything until I've put it under the light, lamp, whatever you call it, long enough for it to fully cure, because those sprinkles and stuff will still stick. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to put this under the lamp. How many of y'all were yelling at me that I didn't have my gloves on? And I stuck my pinky in it. <laughs> so, I'm going to do my best to scrape out what's left. Two drops that it might be. Huh. Yep, two drops it might have been. Three drops.
I'm going to start about a quarter of an inch in. And then I'm just going to fill it in. Then I'm going to spread it out. Man, I got that lid off quite a bit and that really bugs me. Oh, <laughs> if you're new to resin, I wouldn't suggest that. It's all leveled out. I am not ready to trust it yet, though. Still got to put the toppings on. Um, I'm going to hit it once with the lighter, even though I don't see anything. Maybe right there. Thought it was a drip, but it wasn't. Okay, now. Let's see. Last time we put um, our toppings on this side. This time I'm thinking we might put them on this side. finger in it though. Okay.
I'm trying to make it take up as little room. On the coaster surface coaster surface you still want to be able to at least set well wow, a small mug yeah maybe all right I'm gonna I'm gonna cure this for a second Okay, here it is. Well, I swear the mushrooms move. Uh, the mushrooms. I say that all the time. Marshmallows. They move around. <laughs> the chocolate bar and the dark chocolate bar do too. All right, turned out so cute. So the coffee cup. And the cocoa cup. Okay. And coffee bean stand. <laughs> now, the thing about this coffee bean stand. is it pretty much holds them straight up so that's a good thing and pretty much exactly the same as the embellishments stick out all right two more to go i'm going to try to do them in the same video but i can't promise anything um two more shaker coaster coaster molds two more shaker coasters thank you to go before we complete the set okay this one is really cute really cute I love the marshmallows I said it right this time Cute, cute, cute. Alright. Thank y'all so much. Uh, mm, the mold is a Timu mold, first of all. Uh, affiliate link below. Um, the trinkets, whatever you want to call them, they're actually slime charms is what they're listed as. Those are from my Amazon shop. Um, the seed beads, the sprinkles, all of that, they're either in my Amazon shop or they're on Amazon somewhere. I'll try to find the link for you if you, if you need it. Alright. <laughs> I love it. Coffee cup, coaster mold. Perfect. Alright. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I've got an Amazon shop that I get a little kickback from. Um, other links that list are listed below. <laughs> oh, lordy. I am a Let's Resin affiliate, even though I'm out of resin right now. Um, Let's see, I am a Let's Resin affiliate, um, Timu affiliate, anything else affiliate is listed down there. <laughs> I've got an Amazon wish list and a buy me a coffee, coffee link. Oh my goodness. Again, thank y'all so much for watching. <laughs> Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye for now.